Hello ladies, do come in, gather round. It's good of you to pop into the food office today. I suppose you've been in town trying to do your Christmas shopping. Well, I hope you've been successful. There doesn't seem to be a lot in the shops at the moment. Well, I've started putting my decorations up at home and whenever I do, I'm always shocked to see how many cobwebs I've missed on my usual um, weekly clean. So I tend to try and do a bit of a, a winter clean um, before putting them up. Now, of course, that means that there's extra work to do in the house. So I like to try and choose food to cook um, that takes very little time to prepare and that you can pop in the oven and it needs no more attention so you can get on with what you want to get on with. Now, I don't know if you've seen at the cinema the food flashes on the potato plan this year. Now, of course, we have potatoes. They're homegrown and by eating potatoes, we're not using up an ounce of um, space on our ships. Um, which can be used for other more important things. So we need to be eating at least a pound of potatoes per person per day. Now that means we should be choosing some of our dinners that can actually be based, potato based. Not just having potatoes with your dinner, but the actual dinner is a potato dish. There's no nicer dish, I, I find, and my family agrees potato jane and it's so simple to prepare so first of all i've taken a pound and a half of potatoes now i know that the saying goes those who have the will to win cook potatoes in their skin knowing that the sight of peelings deeply upsets lord walton's feelings but for this dish I would suggest that you do peel them. It doesn't really work not to peel the potatoes. And of course, those peelings aren't going to waste because I'm going to make sure that, I'll just get them out of the way, um, that they will go in a saucepan and be slow cooked with any other vegetable peelings and then fed to my hens uh, tomorrow with their layers mashed. So nothing is wasted. But I would peel your potatoes, your pound and a half, slice them very thinly and put them in a layer on a greased baking tin. And I've also chopped up about half a leek, you can use onion if you're lucky enough to have some, or and uh, grated two ounces of cheese and also prepared two ounces of fresh breadcrumbs. Now, on top of my layer of potatoes, I think I'll just fill that gap there. I'm first of all going to put a layer of crumbs. Now, having made this before in this tin, I'm going to do about a third, a third of the crumbs, a third of the cheese, and then I'm going to pop on another layer of potatoes. And I'm going to do this three times, finishing with a layer of cheese. Now, when you're cooking your potatoes, ladies, there are good um, tips to remember. They are very good for us, especially at this time of the year. Not only do they give us energy, they give us warmth too. And they are a protective food, so they help to keep infections at bay, which of course in the winter, this is very important. Sprinkle another third of your leeks on, another third of crumbs, and another third of cheese. Now, as I was saying, they're very good for you, but do you know that a fifth of the goodness of potatoes uh, can be lost if you peel them so if you can cook them, if you're boiling them, boil them with their skins on and take the jackets off later for serving. Now, one more layer of potato, one more layer of leek, one more layer of crumbs and cheese. 
Also, of course, at this time we're trying to save fuel. So do make sure, ladies, that you cook your potatoes as economically as possible when it comes to fuel. Do you know, you can cook your potatoes for five minutes less than normal. Cook them, boil them just for 15 minutes and then drain them. Put a tea cloth on over the top, put the saucepan lid on and leave them for a further 20 minutes and the steam will cook them for the rest of the way and they'll be delicious. So you can save energy, you've taken it off the heat and you've got deliciously cooked potatoes. Now I'm now going to add a little bit of seasoning, some salt and pepper and of course I always like to use parsley as much as I can and this is a dish that will take some chopped parsley nicely. So sprinkle that just on the top. I've still got some hanging out there in the garden even though the weather has got very cold now. So sprinkle a bit of parsley on and I'm going to add half to three quarters of a pint of milk. Now I've run out of my fresh milk so I'm going to use national household milk. Remember ladies it's very easy to mix this up as long as you um, remember to add the powder to the milk and make sure your milk is warm. So I've got a pint here of warm water and I'm going to pop in three levelish tablespoons of household milk and with the warm water that was stirring very easily and become a delicious pint of liquid milk that you can use in your cooking. I would recommend though, it's always nice to save your fresh milk for your tea. Now I'm going to pop in about half to three quarters of that pint, pouring it over the potato, the leek, the crumb and the cheese and I'm going to now uncovered pop that into a moderate oven for about 40-45 minutes. Test it with a fork to see if the potatoes are cooked through and then it's ready to serve. And as you can see I've made a good start on my decorating. And yet all the time quietly cooking away without any fuss is a delicious family supper. Potato Jane. Serve that with colourful vegetables, carrots, broccoli, even sprouts at this time of the year. And you know, having a main potato dish, you're playing your part in the potato plan.